What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new PlayStation uh, update that is in beta right now. If you would like to participate in this beta, you can always sign up on Sony's or PlayStation's website in the kind of beta testing uh, section there. And if you are selected, Sony will actually email you and let you know the details of when you can join. They are rolling out this beta right now pretty much all over the world in several different countries. But it is a uh, an update that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in because there's a few quality of life changes that I know a lot of us have been looking for. First of all, uh, 1440p support is finally coming. Uh, if your game, of course, you know, offers 4K but not native 1440p, uh, you can actually within this update, you know, be able to get that native 1440p. Now you will have to have a monitor or TV that is able to handle 1440p, um, but that is going to be something that is pretty cool that is in this update of course if you are in the test uh, version or the beta version of this uh, you know update if you get in they will have a test 1440p output section in the screen and video category now when it comes to one thing that i've been really looking for on the ps5 something we had on the ps4 was the ability to put your games all in a list together that way you didn't have everything kind of on the dashboard so with the newest update that is in beta right now there will actually be a game list, a new feature that allows players to organize their libra uh, library. Players can have up to 15 different game lists with a maximum of 100 games per list. So this is going to be a lot uh, bigger and a lot better of an option than we had on PS4. But I really like the idea of being able to kind of put all my games together, you know, in different lists or just in one list, however you want to do it. That way, like I said, that you're, you know, you're, Maybe hopefully in the future when everything kind of gets worked out with the PlayStation, we get more and more updates. You have more options to, you know, fix that home screen to look how you want and having the option to put games in a game list will definitely help out with that home screen clutter. Now, when it comes to some other things they're looking to do is they're going to make some tweaks to, I guess, you know, really audio and some social things. Players can also compare 3D audio and stereo audio with the latest update as well as having easier access to in-progress activities and games. There's also going to be a new fo uh, social feature, making it uh, easier to play with friends and families. Uh, you can now request party members to share their screens. You also can get notifications when party members play a game you can join. And lastly, if you have a friend's uh, profile that accepts your request, you'll also be able to send stickers and voice messages in the in-game base. So they're going to you know, do a few tweaks and updates some quality of life things to those, you know, audio and, and, and social features that PlayStation 5 has. And they're just kind of, you know, tweaking those to make them a bit better. But there will be a few other things, you know, some smaller things that kind of Sony has discussed. But those are the big main things right now that they're testing out in the new beta uh, for the update that will be coming out sometime later this year. Uh, you know, Sony's been doing a, a good bit of updates for the PS5. Uh, these are better than the ones we had, you know, for the ps4 over the last several years in my opinion the ps4 did not have a lot of good updates you know it was always those updates when you know you went to look at the patch notes it was just you know fixing things they didn't really even mention you know just improvements is kind of how they you know worded it but they have been doing a lot with the ps5 especially you know with you know adding some new settings uh of course you know trying to like i said make that home screen more accessible and a little bit i think more user friendly to where you can you know kind of maintain how you want it to look and also, you know, when they add any new settings in the game, you know, whether it be social or, you know, audio stuff, that is always a big plus in my opinion. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're, you know, going to participate or if you've had, if you've got access to participate in the new PS5 beta. And of course, let me know if you're looking forward to any of these features in the comment section below. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.